Here's another thing you don't want to do when you're trying to get a title for a vehicle. You don't want to misrepresent the value just to save on taxes. There's a person who was sentenced to federal prison for auto fraud, and a lot of it had to do with taxes. Um, there were six people charged in an auto fraud scheme, um, and what they were trying to do was create fake records. They bought and sold cars from local dealers to reduce the value and reduce the taxes. They conspired to defraud the state of Iowa by materially false and fraudulent pretenses. Specifically, they concealed the mileage and they also concealed the price. Um, the person was a nominee buyer. They put their name on these titles. They paid them 30 bucks each for the cars and they fraudulently titled in their name, which washed the title histories of mileage. They also use transactions to say that they were mechanic specials, meaning that they were not worth a lot of money. They use fake bill of sale that contain notations that these were basically, they needed work. They were fixer uppers. And what that did was it made it appear to have lower value when applying for the title, thus reducing taxes and fees. So they were using this process to try to pay lower taxes. And then once they had that, they would resell it to a retail buyer. They purchased them as a straw buyer um, and sold them on Craigslist. They changed odometers. They took one vehicle that had 177000 and made it 45000 Remember, all this stuff is tracked. You can't change mileage or prices because there's records of all these. And you're not going to get away with it. So make sure that if you're doing title applications, you're not putting any false information because these things are kept in databases. And they're just going to look at the history of the vehicle and any title fraud is going to end up being um, prosecuted. In this case, somebody went to federal prison and a lot of times these titles are revoked so you don't even get to keep the vehicle.